Since 1775, 48 million Americans have served in the armed forces. From the battlefields of the American Revolution to the mountains of Afghanistan, men and women have served and sacrificed their lives defending the Constitution of the United States. Today we continue to honor those who have served by celebrating Veterans Day. Special because, you know, those people gave their, you know, went to war for us, to, for us to have our freedom in America. You know, we should respect them. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918, an armistice was declared between the Allied nations and Germany in the First World War. On November 11th of the following year, President Woodrow Wilson proclaimed Armistice Day, remembering the heroism and sacrifice of those who served. I think that it is a very important holiday and that we should always take the time to stop and, and say a prayer for all of the troops that are overseas fighting for us every day. November 11th became a legal federal holiday in the United States in 1938. In the aftermath of World War II and the Korean War, Armistice Day became Veterans Day a holiday dedicated to American veterans of all wars. We're standing here right now. I'm heading to the golf course having a good time. And if it wasn't for all the veterans that served through all the wars, we wouldn't be here right now having a good time. And that's, that's what it means to me. It's, it's, it's great.